gentlemen, I give you a warm welcome once again on SLTV Lab. Today, we are going to see the video about cardiac anatomy or anatomy of the heart. We are going to see all parts of the heart and then the connection between those cardiac parts. So the human heart is made up of four chambers. This is the right atrium, then the left atrium, we see the left ventricle, and then the right ventricle. Then these parts are separated by the septum. So you can see the septum between the left ventricle and the right ventricle. Then the lower part of the heart or the inferior part, it is the apex. Then the upper part of the heart or the superior part, it is the base of the heart. Good, now we see the superior vena cava, then inferior vena cava. Up there we see the rift pulmonary artery, the right pulmonary artery then on the left side we see two left pulmonal veins on the right side we see two right pulmonal veins then we see the iota then we see the connection between the chambers of the heart and main blood vessels here, the first one we're going to see is the aortic valve, which is between the aorta and the left ventricle. The second one here is mitral valve or bicuspid valve, which is between the left atrium and the left ventricle. The second one here is pulmonal valve, which is between the pulmonal trunk and the left ventricle. This one it is called tricuspid valve which is between the left, I mean the right atrium and the right ventricle. So up there we see three branches of the iota. The first one is brachiocephalic artery. The other one is the left subclavian artery. Another one is the left common carotid artery. So another thing, this two branches of pulmonary arteries they originate from the pulmonary trunk now let's see myocardium or cardiac muscles we are going to see its layers actually this outer part of the heart this is what is made by myocardium there is the outer part which is called epicardium this is the outer part then the one in the middle it's called myocardium is the one which is very thick compared to the other one then the one in the inner part just the one that covers the inner part of the heart that is called endocardium these are the three layers of this wall of the heart. So, guys, let's see the walls of the ventricles. Let's start with the left ventricle myocardium. Myocardium is cardiac muscle. The left ventricle myocardium is thicker and bigger compared to the right ventricle myocardium and then you wonder why and this is because this left ventricle myocardium has to pump blood further in the whole body therefore it has to be big enough in order to have power to pump blood further in the whole body that is why 
the left myocardiums my or myocardial muscle is thicker compared to the right myocardium good let's now see the conduction system of the heart we start with SA node or sinoatrial node then AV node or atrioventricular node then bundle of his then we see the bundle branches left bundle branch and right bundle branch and finally we see the Purkinje fibers left and right Purkinje now let's see the posterior view of the heart as you can see here is the aortic arc the aortic arc good here is the superior vena cover remember this is the posterior view what you used to see on the right side now you are going to see them on the left side superior vena cover right pulmonary artery this is the left atrium and these are the right pulmonary veins and here are the left pulmonary vein this is the left auricle good now this is the great cardiac vein this is the one in a blue color and then this artery is circumflex artery it turns from the anterior part and comes back into the posterior part that is why it is called circumflex here we see the posterior atrial artery then there is rift posterior ventricular branch and down here left left posterior ventricular vein this is the artery and this is the vein the veins are in blue color then down here this huge part it is rift ventricle here is the right ventricle here is middle cardiac vein and we see these two branches are right posterior interventricular artery branches then we see this sinus is called coronal sinus and before coronal sinus here we see small cardiac vein and below small cardiac vein or inferior to small cardiac vein there is right coronal artery and up here there is obric vein you can see here is obric vein this is the inferior vena cava the inferior vena cava now we see the anterior view of the heart we start with the right coronal artery below the coronal artery we see the right marginal artery there we see the left coronal artery 
Below it, we see the anterior interventricular artery. Then we see the great cardiac vein. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to place like and place the subscribe button and share the video to your colleagues so that they can see the anatomy of the heart as well. May God bless you so much.